Hey everyone, Aaron at Redbird Speed. Today I want to talk about these 9-inch housings. So there's a lot of different options on the style of housing available. So this is the new Mosier Hybrid Can. So you can see it incorporates this fabricated part, the stamp style back, so they're calling it the Hybrid Can. So this is released just recently, it's summer 2023 right now. So this is actually able to reduce the cost of the 9-inch housing axle packages a little bit, so that is a nice perk to these new cans. Also, uh, some things I'll talk about. These use a three inch tube with a quarter inch thick wall. That's our standard go-to. We can weld whatever housing ends on the end. We'll get to another video, we'll talk about that. But let's talk about these different styles of cans. So this is the hybrid. Uh, behind me, you can see a classic style here. So I'll put up a picture here so you can see the difference in the two. So you got a hybrid can. Uh, nice thing about these hybrid cans, I mean, these are welded all through here. I'll flip it around here. Let's look, let's look at the other side here. So you can see where this is welded all through here. Uh, so one thing I'll say about, let's say the banjo style can. I'll put up a picture of the banjo style here so you can take a look at it. So these are going to be common in like a Tri-5 Chevy or maybe an old Mustang where you want that classic look. So you can put the 9-inch Ford in the, in the Tri-5. You got the round back banjo look. Even though it's not a you know a GM style rear, it gives that appearance. You know a lot of people like that in the Tri Five community, so that's available. Um, also, we have the fabricated M9 cans. So the nice thing about the M9, it's a very narrow can. So what that allows you to do is on the M9, it's 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 a lot more narrow than this. So if you have four link brackets that you're running on a drag application or a mini truck or whatever you're doing, if you need that narrow can. It makes it really nice because you have a lot more real estate to weld on here. So uh, I'm not saying you can't fab something up here, but if you want, if you got clean tubes and a three inch ID on your bracket, it makes it a lot nicer. One other perk from the M9 is the faceplate location. So you have an opportunity to have a faceplate that's drilled. That is, it, the opening is offset. So what happens there is you can center up the tubes you can center up the housing, the center part of the can in the tubes, have an equal tube length on both sides, yet run that drive shaft right down the center of the chassis. So that is really nice for, especially in a drag car. So it uh, gives you a lot of real estate to work on the tubes, center up the drive shaft, a uh, very nice feature on the M9 can. There are other options for other uh, like ultra fab cans. There's a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of manufacturers make different options so depending on what you're doing for strength um, like this classic can is very a very stout piece the the small web or the banjo style i'm not going to put a lot of horsepower to that because you don't have all these you, the tubes are just going up over the end of the housing and welding on so you don't have you don't have all this welding you don't have these gussets you don't have all that so um, just depends on your application what you're doing your horsepower level so there's opportunities to have all these back brace. We can put whatever housing ends on them. There's a lot of options here. So if you want to talk about your car and what you have going on and what will work best for you, give us a ring, 260-301-2424. You can get us at redbirdspeed.com. Drop a comment below. If you have any questions, probably best to just give us a call. Be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. Hang in there. We'll talk about more of these housing ends and uh, we'll talk about more of how to measure this up and options, features, uh, hardware you get, all that information. So we appreciate you. Thanks for watching today. Have a good day.